Next. House up on the list here. I'm jealous of the solar panels. And I'm not a solar guy, but this thing's got quite the array. On the main road, uh, a year ago, one of these smaller ranches uh, sold for $435, I think. Uh, so we're hoping, you can tell, it's a pretty large property. It's a four bed with a crappy garage. This is uh, one of those properties that you could do a lot with. Or you could probably do very little with. Um, like this garage, for instance. All the T111 siding is all garbage, but the framing is good. So if you want to keep that, you'd have to rip all that stuff off, rip the roof off, put a roof on it, and put new siding on it. But then it'd be a pretty nice garage. And all the siding you could change or paint, but really, you know, it's just a bunch of crud on it. More solar panels, by the way. These people were really, really against paying electrical bills. Uh, this is like so typical for me. You know, this whole kitchen makes a lot of sense though. If you rip it out and you put in a row of cabinets here, the only problem is they centered the kitchen sink on the window, and the one window in the kitchen, but the window is supposed to stop before the countertop, not drive all the way down, dive all the way down there, so. That means I have to put in a smaller window if I want to do it right and F with the siding and all of that, you know, little pantry area. I might take that uh, washer dryer hookup and throw it over there if I can get access to it from underneath. If not, you know, whatever, that'll turn into like a little pantry. Um, low ceilings. Low ceilings is kind of the name of the game here, but otherwise the surfaces are pretty okay. Um, all these windows have been replaced. They're all vinyl. Someone decided that the the bathroom was their most important part of their lives, so that's that's been done for me. I'm not gonna touch that. Um, got some weird ceiling slant here though, you know? You can see how high the ceiling is over the trim there, and then over here, not so much. It's kind of strange. These are all drop ceilings though. This is definitely a drop ceiling, old school drop ceiling, so. I think just to deal with some of the uneven floors on the second floor, we're gonna take down all these ceilings to get a good look at some of those floor joists. Same thing with the back master bedroom. Someone did a more modern drop ceiling. I might actually borrow that window to put in front of the kitchen sink, by the way. Take the bigger window, put it over there. This is a drop ceiling inception, old drop ceiling, new drop ceiling. These people hate, hate, you know, height in a ceiling. These, these people really must have been midgets. So, let's see. Going upstairs, tiny little weird ass hallway with some very serious floor slope. You can't see that on the hair, but this thing is like, it like comes over a ridge right here and heads down in that direction. Not so great, you know, but also not that hard to fix. Ceiling is coming down, but I mean, honestly, I'm gonna resheet rock this whole this whole second floor. This whole second floor is gonna get resheet rocked, retrimmed out, and this ceiling is about six feet lower than it needs to be if we went to the went to the roof line. We got bedroom one, bedroom two, and bedroom three upstairs with that master bedroom downstairs with the drop ceiling inception. And if I'm feeling a little froggy, I gotta be honest. It's not too hard to put a wall right here. You know what I mean? Put your toilet right here and have your little half bath here upstairs with, uh, you know, the door over here. So, and you'd be dropping right into that ceiling, that open drop ceiling that I'm gonna be dropping anyway. And the main sewer line is gonna be down by the uh, other bathroom. Not, you know, not more than six feet from it. So, uh, I don't know. Again, this is one of those houses where you could kind of just smear and smear and stick some surfaces, or you could uh, probably add a shitload of value and make it really, really nice because it is a beautiful house. So that's it. I guess we'll see what I do. I don't know. I think kind of uh, at the end of the day, I keep mulling it around and uh, 
you know it's gonna it's gonna depend on what i find when i start opening up some of these surfaces so stay tuned <laughs>